but um i did watch power slap and uh and i know you did as well and uh we we need to talk about this because i feel like this i mean we needed to at least be able to watch it so we can have an educated opinion yeah and um i think it's probably gonna be the last time i watch it um i don't know if i don't even know if it airs in canada honestly and i don't really care enough to look um but i will say that as i was watching it like my immediately like within five minutes i'm like what how the hell is this on television like dana white new year's eve gets caught on video slapping his wife one of the first things out of his mouth on this show is the great thing about power slap is if you don't like somebody, you can slap the shit out of them. What? <laughs> like, <laughs> and I'm like, okay, here we go. And, uh, and it was, it was everything I expected, but it was also like, I can't believe it aired, but I will say as I'm watching it, it, it was compelling. In the sense that, like, I'm watching and I'm like, I'm I'm mentally scoring these quote unquote fights. Like, you know, I'm watching guys no sell, and I'm okay. That's a ten eight, and you know, and it's like, oh man, that guy came back, and and it's like, and then, but I felt horrible. Like every time they went to commercial, I'm like, I I need I need to shut this off, but I can't. And it, so I think it's like I never watched Jerry Springer, but I heard about Jerry Springer, and I feel like it's the same kind of appeal. But it's it's worse in a way because you're watching people like literally beat the like beat like beat the hell out of each other. Like, man, I don't that I cannot believe this made television. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna start off by saying I'm gonna start off by saying this. I did watch the entire first episode, and the only reason I did so is because we cover UFC, we cover Dana White. And I felt like there was an obligation, obligation to people who who read what I write, listen to what I say on this podcast, follow me on Twitter, anything, follow me on the F, you know, on the F4W board. I felt like an obligation for to watch it for those people so I could actually give some thoughts on it because they, people appreciate me, you, you know, yeah. hearing the hearing this stuff about it. I watched the entire first episode and I came to the conclusion that I will not give this a single second more of my life. It was so stupid. <laughs> it, it was redundant and it was it, you know it just it it's not like fighting it's, it was the same shit over and over and over and over and i can't believe the audacity of like we're gonna put this on pay-per-view what oh my god <laughs> what the hell and then the even more embarrassing stuff as it comes out like how little these guys are getting paid is an absolute fucking embarrassment. Two thousand dollars. Two thousand dollars. Now Eric Spicely said that was for for the first fight. I mean, but granted, I, I mean, I mean, you know, this and the fact that these guys can get knocked out from a slap and be able to come back in eight days or less. <laughs> That's to do it again. That's I couldn't yeah. believe that we saw like UFC referees in there. Like Jason Herzog, like I lost respect for him. Well, like, it's, <laughs> well, I think it's Nevada, and Nevada wanted to go go with like like they haven't done anything. Like these are all these are all commission approved. So, I know, I know. So I don't I, think there's, I don't, you know, there's, and it's not, it's not, a, it's not anything that's been been sanctioned before anywhere. So Nevada sanctions it quickly so they could do these, and like, I mean, it's going to be hard to find referees for slap fights so you just use mma referees and you know so it's you know they're all involved they're all involved you know i don't i don't i don't blame any of those any of those referees because they're 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 hired by the commission not by the ufc how close how closely were you paying attention to to these fights not very much okay did one thing i noticed that was bugging me when herzog was was refing and a guy would get like you know kind of rocked and yeah. he would make him. He would say, "Okay, you got thirty seconds to get back into the box." And then when the guy would get back in the box, they would restart the clock. But some of the other refs were just like, just letting them go. Like they didn't have to get back to the box. Like I feel like they're making this up as they went along. Like you know, no, I mean, and, there was the clock. I think Jason Herzog was the only only one like making them 
like aware of like okay now you have 30 sec- seconds from the get go like you know but some of these guys were like and then the the rule about the stepping like they just like in the middle of the show all of a sudden it was like oh yeah that's a dq or whatever or you get a point deduction and uh, but it's a point deduction after you like knock the guy out yeah. <laughs> you know it's like oh my god it was so like bizarre yeah. And, um, you know, and, and then these guys and then like guys are getting knocked out and Dana's like, I still liked him. We're going to put him in the house anyways. The one guy with one eye gets, like, yeah. gets a knockout. The, guy's then- one, the guy with one eye, like, 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 honestly, <laughs> like, like, let's be real. He only has one eye because of slap fighting. Yeah. yeah, like, come on. Like, he well, lost his eyes. These guys, on. like, everyone, like you said, it was redundant. Like, every one of them looks like their faces are mangled as they're doing yeah. these interviews. And it's like, they're going to fight like six more times if they're going to win yeah. this belt. And then you got the guys, like the two coaches that I guess are like the Couture and Liddell of slap fighting. And, uh, and they're going to, you know, like fight for the slap fight championship at the end of the year or something. And, uh, like, these, you know, just these two, like, guys you would you know walk into a bar and you know they'd, they'd be like brawling by the end of the night um i i just i don't know and they don't really have much personality like dana just overwhelms the show like he's yeah. just all over it. I, it was hunter thompson's on there and hunter uh, campbell or hunter campbell what is hunter Tom- who's hunter thompson he's like so a the famous writer oh okay yeah yeah, yeah. Hunter, yeah, hunter, thompson, campbell. Yeah. yeah hunter campbell and uh and then this little pipsqueak with a hat uh, I don't know, I can't remember his name, but he was like the president of Slap Fight or something. And uh, yeah, it was. And then they had the women on there. Um, and they're just, I think, I almost got the impression like Dana just wanted to see women hit each other. <laughs> like, because there's no reason for the fight, except yeah. I guess the one, oh, we like her. We're going to make her a coach. Like, yeah. <laughs> come on. I, yeah, you know. just like it's just, like I said, it's stupid. And yeah. uh, I don't think it's going to last. I don't, you know. <laughs> Well, and then you know what? Like, I mean, this isn't really the show to talk about it, but um, you know, the same network that wouldn't allow uh, Jay Briscoe on their airwaves or allow AEW to do a Jay Briscoe tribute show put this crap on like right after the day after he died. I have a theory. I have a theory of why they why why WBD is the ones airing it. And why is that? My theory is they want they wanted to establish a relationship with Endeavor and Dana White because they're interested in bidding in UFC TV rights when the, when the contract comes up. Fair. That's, okay. I feel like that's the only reason why they got involved. And honestly, UFC and AEW would be a good pairing, you yeah. know, to have on the same networks. So yeah, because because sense. because I think I I think. Uh, I think there's a big push. There's, I think in the next few years there's going to be a big push of putting of putting pay per view events on HBO Max and okay. UFC being the lead being the leader of that would be like like would, like in, like their own ESPN Plus. Yeah, 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 exactly. Okay, um, and, I, and I think and I think I think UFC and AEW would be the big the big two on, on that. Yeah. Unless, unless they can get, you know, and I'm sure they'll be interested in WWE too. Um, you know, well, I mean, I, I have my theory of what what's going to end up happening with. WWE. Well, yeah, I think we all so. do. Um, but yeah, this was uh, this was not good. I didn't realize. Okay, so I didn't even realize Endeavor had anything to do with this. I thought it was just Dana and, and the Fertitas. But- no, in, Endeavor. Endeavor has, has a piece of all this. Any, oh, okay. Anything, anything that's you know, it's. Uh, yeah, yeah, they're, okay. they're 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 involved in some fashion. Put to do that one. Okay, well, I, yeah, and I didn't. I I only picked up on that like in you know in the week since it's aired. So, but yeah, I, it's safe to say I won't be watching this again. Um, and neither will you. 